So access keys is a key and secret required to have programmatic access to the AWS resources when interacting with the AWS API outside of the management console. So when we're talking about access keys, we're talking about AWS credentials. And if we say AWS credentials, we're talking about access keys. When we say access keys, we're talking about both a key and secret. Is this confusing? Yes, I know, but I wanna make sure that you understand that there is some variations in that terminology. When you create a new user within your AWS account, you get to choose, do they have programmatic access? If they do, you're gonna be able to generate out access keys for them. When you generate out an access key, you'll get a key and a secret. Technically, the key part of it uh, is not as uh, sensitive as the uh, secret, but you should keep them both uh, secret and treat them as super, super sensitive. Never share your access keys to anyone. Only person that should use them is you, okay? Never commit them to a code base. If they go on GitHub or GitLab or somewhere else, they can get exposed, people can get in your account, and that will be a big problem. Technically, if you use GitHub or AWS, they have measurements which they will uh, that they have there that will detect um, if your key has been compromised, and then they will lock down your account for you for your benefit, but don't rely on that because you can still uh, suffer damages to your uh, your bill or to your resources if that stuff gets exposed. You can have two uh, access keys at a time. Um, if you need more, then you need to deactivate another one or delete them. Uh, access keys have whatever access a user has in the AWS resources. So if you are an admin user, your access keys will have admin user. You cannot set separate permissions for individual access keys. If you need that, make a new user and then lock it down to exactly what you want. It, that kind of user is called a machine user where it doesn't represent a person, it just represents um, particular access that you want to give out. So let's take a look at how we would actually save these access keys locally. Well, there's one way, which is putting them in your credentials file. This is a TOML file, which is expected to be in a very particular directory or folder uh, on your operating system. So if you're on Linux, or Mac, it's gonna be located in your home directory. That's what that tilde is for. Um, that's a shortcut to get to your home directory. And then it would be in a folder called AWS, and then it would be a file called credentials. The folder has a period in front of it because it's a hidden folder. Since this is secret stuff, you don't want to make that easily accessible. Um, this credentials file is uh, pretty straightforward. The idea is that you will always have a default section. This is when you use the CLI, or the SDK, it will default to using this one. If you need to have more profiles, you can set them below with custom names. And then the idea is that you will provide that profile uh, when you specify that in your configuration. But this is so you can access multiple credentials. You could have 100 in here and be able to quickly switch between uh, projects or accounts to get the work that you need to get done. Um, you don't have to make this file from scratch. You just type in AWS configure and then you'll be able to enter in your access key and secret, and it will create this file with the default value there. You can also provide other information like the default region and the default output format. There is another file, I can't remember what it's called, the like configuration that goes along with it. One's supposed to have the credentials in it, the other one's supposed to have general configuration. Now, this is one way of using your access keys. The other way is via environment variables, and the SDK and the CLI will automatically pick up your environment variables. I use this method a lot because I use cloud developer environments and I can't set this uh, credentials file in it. Um, and when you are working with applications, you often are going to set environment variables because again, you're not gonna be able to set credential files. So there are those two ways. Uh, credential files is really great when you're in a local developer environment on your local computer. It's just gonna be dependent on your scenario, but you're gonna see me use NVARs the most. Um, so hopefully that is clear, but, uh, yeah, that is access keys. Okay.